guys so we're gonna be organizing and decorating this bookshelf i'm really excited <laughs> i've never had a bookshelf like this i've never decorated a bookshelf i've never had that bookshelf experience as a reader and i am so excited as a lot of you guys know i keep my books above my bed head which seems like a danger hazard but for you guys worried unfortunately i am gonna keep my books like that but i'm gonna move some of them to this shelf but just to be clear i'm not worried about the books falling on me i've had my books on my bed head for probably a year at this point and when i did start stacking the books above my bed head the stack was a lot shorter and it's grown over time but still not a single book has fallen on me we don't have earthquakes where i live even if they do fall on me i'm gonna survive <laughs> Like they're just books, but I will be moving some of those books over to this bookshelf and we're going to organize them and decorate them. And I'm also going to be adding some of my plants. I have a growing plant collection and I've been keeping them on my desk, but they've been getting in the way and I need somewhere to place them. So I thought a bookshelf was a perfect place and I wasn't intending on getting a bookshelf. I've wanted a bookshelf for a really long time but they're very expensive and I couldn't really justify buying one because I know that eventually I'm gonna want my own like library in my home wherever I move out. Like eventually at some point I know I'm gonna have my own library so I was like why would I buy a bookshelf now when I'm gonna buy more in the future and I can just keep them on my bed head. But I found this bookshelf when I was thrifting. It was only $45. Um, and so it just seemed right. And it really like goes with my room. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty, I liked it. So why not? I have so much stuff. So I think it will be so nice to have a place to put a lot of my things. And this side of my room, I just have this plain white wall and I haven't had anything on it. But now I'm gonna have this bookshelf that I'm gonna decorate and it's gonna look so pretty. And I think it's just gonna make my space so much nicer. Firstly, the first step is we're gonna do the books. That's like the most obvious part. I've decided that I'm gonna take all of the books that I've read and put them on this shelf. I think they'll just make everything so much easier because when I am talking about books that I've read, it's such a hassle to get them out of my bookshelf. And it'll be so much nicer to just see all of the books I've read. It'll be so rewarding when I finish a book. I can add it to the bookshelf. Um, and that way I can also see all of the books I have on my TBR. So let's move over to my bed head. So here is the bed head situation. This is like almost all of the books I have. And then I also have, please excuse the mess, but I have my classics over here and like special editions and then i have all my ali has a wood books which i'm gonna add to the bookshelf but yeah first we're gonna go through all these stacks and get out all the books i've read Okay, <laughs> I've taken out every book I've read. Look at the mess in my room. That's actually so much more than I thought. I thought most of my bookshelf was just my TBR, but oh my god, I've actually read quite a few books. Wow. I look like a mess. It's so hot in my room, even though it's autumn, but like, I'm in Australia, so what can you do? I took all the books off the bookshelves. I know you guys saw dust coming off some of the books. Please, <laughs> please don't mention it. Um, you can't expect a depressed girly to dust her bookshelves, okay? I'm just saying. I would try and be better at it, but like, I clicked so much dust on myself and I dust it and then it comes back like the next day, so. But yeah, I know that was disgusting. Just, just don't comment on it, please. Okay. <laughs> so, I've organized my books into different stacks. We have my Ali Hazelwood, my Cruel Prince, and then I have my favorite books. But 
these two books are from a series so i'm like should i just keep them in this series or should i have them separately i don't know we have my fantasy stack i can't really show you guys all of it but we have fantasy ow literary fiction this hair in my mouth i have this book dog diaries from my childhood i don't know where i'm gonna put this but somewhere like the maze runner from my childhood so i feel like that should go with that harry potter as well even though i don't have the whole series i don't know why i used to but some of them are just gone now we have more fantasy there's more on the floor and then two stacks of romance i'm not gonna pick them up <sighs> okay i've taken out some books that i'm gonna unhaul i think i'm gonna do a unhauling video i feel like i have some books i just don't want to read or i just didn't like so i might as well not keep them i feel like i go back and forth on that because some books like i'm like i should get rid of the books i didn't like but then i also kind of want to have a collection anyway so have books that i didn't like and then someone would be like oh do you have this book i'm like sure read it i feel like i'd rather just get i think okay. <laughs> i think i'll get rid of the books that i just like despise because i just don't want them but the books where i'm just like whatever on i might as well just keep them but yeah now we're going to put the books on the stacks so you guys can see like my whole desk it's very messy under there it's not actually messy it's organized mess <laughs> no it's not okay i have art supplies under there but it just looks very messy um you guys can kind of see my plants we're gonna take some of these plants and move them onto the bookshelf after i'm gonna do just the books first but i'm very nervous like i'm procrastinating right now because this part just it's just so nerve-wracking for some reason i'm just gonna sit here and diddle daddle <laughs> and i'm gonna have to reorganize my bed head i think because it's kind of a mess now all the fantasy i've read guys look what happened to my copy of a kind of silver flames the sun just completely destroyed it <laughs> that's what color is supposed to be i don't want actors to be like front and center i'm so sick of seeing these colors like when you see these books, it just screams Akatar and I'm so sick of that. I'm down here, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna try and organize these by like their trope maybe, maybe like by sport romance. So we have, this is like billionaire romance. So we put the billionaires together. This is sport, sport. This is, what is this? I don't know, YA. Is this my only YA romance? I think so. This is Christmas. Or should I just keep it like that? This is whimsy. Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> it's um like magical. So the XX and those two can go together. This is my only like dark romance. It's like a bully romance. So this one can just stay on its own. This is a Christmas romance, but this is my other one. But this one's Chloe Leafs. So I feel like that should stay with Chloe Leafs. Maybe I should move them to the middle and put stuff on either side oh my gosh this is heavy now we have up here how do i organize this okay i have an idea i can go like that maybe i feel like it doesn't really look that put together does it okay maybe if i add other stuff it will put it more together i have <laughs> a lot of crystals these are my biggest ones because i used to be a big uh crystal girly i'm not anymore but they're still pretty oh my god this is one of my favorite books, but it's a special edition, so I'm gonna keep it up here. 
I have this print I got from Adiana. She has a booktube as well. And she sent me this as a part of a giveaway. And I want to frame this and put it somewhere on my bookshelf, but I don't have a frame yet. And then I also have this that I want to frame, which I just got out of a random magazine, but I feel like it fits my bookshelf vibe. So I'm going to add these when I get frames. I also have this massive plant. But if I put it there, it's not going to get sun. Okay, we're going to reorganize my bed head. These are all in genres. So what I'm going to do is just like concise them together a bit and make them a bit more even. I don't think I need to really do a lot. Hey guys, my bookshelf is done. We're gonna do the tour now. I did stop recording yesterday and just tried to finish it up by myself. I feel like it was more stressful when I had the camera to also think about. And I also wanted to sleep on it and see in the morning if there's anything I wanted to change. But I think I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. So we're gonna do a tour. Here she is, here's the bookshelf. Okay, the top shelf. We have my special editions. We have my Heartstopper, Six of Crows. I have not read this book. I have not read Emma or Alice in Wonderland, but these are special editions, so I feel like they should go up here. And then we have my journal. We then have my reading journal. These two are obviously like be taking out and putting them back in. Um, but this is also like a good way to remind myself to do my journal. The next shelf. This is like my favorite shelf. We have my Ali Hazelwood, of course. We have this little thingy. I don't know what this is called, but I got this a few years ago. And then my Ali Hazelwood earrings, yada yada. And then we have my favorite books. This is actually a lamp, but the light bulb um, died. So I just thought I'd just use it like as a crystal. And yeah, all of my favorite books. It really is so nice to see them all together. Moving on. I'm going to put the camera down now. We have all of the romance I've read. And then we have all of the literary fiction I've read. And then we have this little candle. I probably won't light this candle while it's in the bookshelf because um, I've seen it turn like people's bookshelves black and I don't want that. And then we have the little sister mug. And I have like bookmarks in here since I don't use bookmarks so I can just keep them in there. And I have these star hoop earrings that I should wear more. I just forget to. The next shelf, we have all of the fantasy I've read. This book, I actually, oops, I actually DNF'd. But it was a gift from the lovely Sam. So I'm going to keep it regardless. And we have my lovely... The Cruel Prince books or The Fog of Air. I never call it The Fog of Air series. I always just say The Cruel Prince, but we have this lovely series that I love with all these pretty crystals. This is like the childhood shelf kind of, not really, I don't know. Uh, we have my Akhtar books. We have my Harry Potter books and I'm missing some in the series. I have no clue where they went. We have The Maze Runner. I actually don't think I ever really read that book, but I watched the movies as a child and I rewatched them recently and I just loved the series and I got this book when I was young. So I wanted to keep it there. And Dork Diaries, I absolutely loved this series as a child. I read so many of the books. So we have to keep it there. And then we have these astrology books. I haven't read them. I've read some of the little book of earth magic, but I haven't read the others. I honestly don't know if I will read them, but I'm just gonna put them there anyways. And then at the very bottom, we have this, this is very random, but I think in year nine, this company did like a short story poetry competition and I submitted mine through my school. I think I got through the first round and that's as far as I went. And so my stories in this book, there's like hundreds of stories in there. So it's not really that big of an accomplishment, but it felt very cool at the time that my story was in this book. So yeah, I just have this book and like, I don't know what to do with it. Like it's such a massive book. 
I only have like one little story in it, but that's okay. So that is the whole bookshelf. As you noticed, I didn't put my plants up there. I decided I'm trying to like not show outside my window. So sorry if this is filmed really awkwardly, but I just moved my plants along here. Since I um, got rid of some of the crystals and moved them over, I put the plants over here. I just want to make sure they're in the sun. So I'm just going to keep them there. And then we have my bed head bookshelf. So I cleaned this up and I just even it out a bit more. There's not like a lot to this bookshelf, but we have my fantasy, these two stacks. We have my romance, these two stacks. We have literary fiction, classics, and more classics. And then there's a few manga on top. But yeah, there's my bed head and... For some reason, this kind of stresses me out because I always want a lot of options for what books to read. And this looks like a lot of books, but to me, I'm like, this is not enough options. I need more options, which is really ridiculous. Like, I have a problem, but let's not talk about it. And this isn't my bookshelf, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. Since I put these prints up there, I know I said I was going to frame them, but I just don't know when I would actually get a frame. So I decided to put them up here since I also film um, on my bed and you can see this. Oh! That was a shell. So I thought I'd put them up here anyways, and this background can be cute. This is like my TBR. Um, and we have all these shelves. Also, when I got all these shelves, I didn't know it was unethical to collect shelves. Shelves to collect shelves. So I will not be collecting anymore, but I'm not just gonna go like throw them out because that seems like a waste. So this video was honestly so much fun to film and decorating a bookshelf was just it was so much fun. It, I just had a great time and I am very happy and I think it just brightens up my space so much, which things like that just make me so happy. Thank you for watching this video. I am going to be doing a book unhaul video very soon. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I also am going to do a video where I go through every book on my physical TBR, but I have some books I've collected for a book haul, but I don't have enough yet. I want at least like 15 books for a book haul and I think I have like 10. So once I get more, whenever that will be, um, I'll do a book haul and then I'll do a physical TBR video. So yeah, look out for those. And thank you so much for watching this video. I have a book Instagram and a book TikTok where I post quite frequently if you want more insight into my life into my reading um you can check those out and leave a comment if you want to it always makes my day when i see someone has commented on one of my videos and yeah thank you for watching i really appreciate it bye